Jared Goldberg with the U.S. Ski Team here at Copper Mountain, and I'm going to go uh, start training for the World Cup. Let's go. So a normal day, we'll start waking up early and going up and having to put tight race boots on in the cold when it's zero degrees outside. Training that is, you know, really important, so it's not as big of a deal on race day. 7.30, get a warm-up in. You know, before we train, we got to do a nice, good inspection, uh, check out the course. You know, sometimes there's blind rolls. From there, we start actually training. I don't think anybody can really grasp how much we train uh, for what we do. We do our runs, you know, it can be up to six runs, maybe sometimes eight if it's really good, if you're feeling good. Uh, if you have a day off the next day, then you know, we'll do as many as we can sometimes. You feel like you're gonna cough one when you're done. Usually, if you're trying hard enough, even the most in-shape guys are feeling it at the bottom, so I mean, no matter what you do, if, if you don't do any training, then you're totally screwed right away. If you do train, you're still gonna feel it, but the thing is, is that you're gonna have to be able to have that power on the last two turns. You know, that's all it really takes. And then it's, you know, straight to dry land training stuff. That can usually take about two hours, but you gotta have the strongest core. You gotta have some strong legs. You gotta be, you gotta be strong like a bull because some of, this, some of these courses we do are two minutes and 30 seconds. So that's why, you know, we try to train hard days here in Coffin Mountain just to get us ready for the World Cup.